What's up guys? Talk Movies with us here. Back again for another video. And of course, it is the end of the month, the end of September. And we happen to pick up a few things here and there. Just a few things, as you can see from the piles. And, you know, September's over, you know, we're on to October. Celebrating with some Oktoberfest, of you course. You cannot go wrong with some Sam Adams, and especially Oktoberfest. But a lot of awesome titles this month. A ton of steelbooks, a few horror pickups. Well, a lot of horror pickups. A lot of horror pickups. For September, we're gearing up for October. And let's just jump right into this thing yes. so this video is not three hours long. So you want to start this thing off? Let's start it off. So one of the titles that we picked up from the Dollar Tree uh, when they have those, you know, the Blu-ray sales was Safe Haven, which is a Nicholas Sparks movie. I have a <laughs> soft spot for Nicholas Sparks and his movies. They're all the same but I have to have all of them. Because you're basic. I am basic sometimes. And if you guys know of where I can get this slip cover, let me know. I know it's gonna be the slip of the other artwork, but I need a slip cover, Slip please. cover's better than no slip cover. Another one that we picked up was from FYE. A lot of these, of course, as we say every month, from FYE, because the buy two, get one for a dollar, gets us every single time we're there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Uh, and it seemed like somebody had traded in almost their entire collection. collection. And of course, we just end up buying their whole collection. And a lot of them were sealed. So yeah. it's always a plus when you have a used movie that's sealed. Mm -hmm. uh, so we picked up Flight with Denzel Washington. I remember seeing this movie in theaters, and I, I really enjoyed it. I think Denzel Washington plays a really good drunken old man who just, flies planes. He plays a very good everything. The guy's like a fantastic actor so I mean he just yes. morphs into any role you know another FYE pickup we picked up Cruel Intentions which is one of my favorites from way back in the day have you seen this one never seen it so this is definitely one that we have to watch this you know has a young Ryan Phillippe Reese Witherspoon <laughs> so oh and Sarah Michelle Gellar oh all right next up we got Minority Report starring the great you know Tom Cruise and his famous run <laughs> but yeah, this Lot is an underrated Spielberg flick, and I haven't owned it on Blu-ray yet. I'm surprised I haven't owned it, but I'm actually glad because I never knew this had a slip cover. I guess it's pretty rare because I've never seen it. And next up is E.T. I mean, who hasn't seen E.T.? This yes. is the 4K 35th anniversary box set. Yes, which we did an unboxing of. Yes, check that one out for further detail. But God, E.T. is one of the best movies ever. It's got it's got to be a per it's a perfect film. I mean, uh, yeah, you know, it's just ouch. <laughs> Watch this movie growing up a million times. I mean, if you haven't seen E.T., what are you doing? All right, next up is a movie we had to double dip on. We absolutely loved it and that is Wonder Woman. Yes. We went with the Best Buy exclusive 4K Steelbook mm -hmm. and the Target exclusive Digibook. We own all the Digibooks. We have all the Steelbooks except, except for Man, Man of, of Steel. Steel. So we are on the hunt for that one but I love both of these editions. And, and I love the movie. The movie was probably our favorite DC film yet. Yes. And you know these books are such great quality. They're and beautiful. You know, we of course, we did unboxings of these. Go check that video out for further review. Next up is a slip cover we're really excited to find. Haven't seen this one ever before in person. Only seen pictures of it online. Didn't even know it existed, but that is <laughs> Max Payne. And this is, I think, one of those Fox Icon slip covers they're called. Yeah. And the slip cover is better than the movie because I remember seeing the movie and not really caring about it. I don't even remember anything about the but movie. But it's Marky Mark. It's Marky Mark. Had that awesome rare slip cover. And, and I grew up playing the games. So I guess I'll rewatch this one. You know, maybe it, it, I could, I'll appreciate a little more now. I don't know. <laughs> so one of the things I just recently picked up at Best Buy because we started getting in horror stuff for Halloween is the Vestron Wishmaster Collection. Uh, we are still missing a, a few of them. I think now only two. So we had to pick this one up because it is one of the ones that we were missing. Super excited to check this one out. Um, I've heard fun things about them. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're starting to catch up with those. You know, we're kind of trying to keep up with Scream Factory and Vestron. You know, yeah. it's a little tough, but, you know, we're getting there. The good thing is, is that Vestron has kind of stopped for now. So we have a chance to catch up. Yeah. Whereas Scream Factory is just pumping, pumping them, them out. out. Yeah. So it's always hard to keep up with them. But 
Uh, next we have a classic. Oh, of course. Um, House of Wax with Chad Michael Murray and Paris Hilton. <laughs> the great Paris Hilton. Who else is in this? What a oh. classy, classy woman. And uh, Alicia Cuthbert. And I got a question for House of Wax. There is a character I remember vaguely in this movie that was also on a show on Nickelodeon back in the day. I think it included a puppet of some sort. I am not sure, but if anybody knows that, I know this is like deep cuts Nickelodeon, <laughs> but definitely comment below because, I mean, who knows? It's House of Wax, but just something I vaguely remember about it. I like how it, it's hot, sexy, deliciously creepy horror. Mm -hmm. Like, that's the tagline. Oh, it's like Paris Hilton, right? Oh, boy. Yeah. Yikes. That could be, uh, I guess, you used to describe her sex tape. <laughs> <laughs> Next. <laughs> All right. Another awesome slipcover find that we found at FYE is Almost Famous. Uh, I love this movie. And I actually had no idea it had this slipcover. So yeah. I'm very excited to finally have this in our collection. Awesome edition. I used to have a DVD of it, but of course I got rid of it. And another one, uh, we Best Buy was having a sale, buy one, get one free. So I picked up My Life as a Zucchini. The most anticipated film of since God knows when. You know, <laughs> I haven't been able to watch this, but I heard such great things about it. Uh, so I'm really excited to check it out. Every once in a while, you need a good... You need a good zucchini in your life, you know? <laughs> and yes. my life is a zucchini, right? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> Next up, we got a movie. I'm not going to lie, I really loved it. And that is Transformers The Last Night. Yes, bring on the hateful comments. We know Michael Bay is an abomination against society. We understand that. But I gotta say, I had a blast watching this in the theater. Some of the best IMAX 3D I've oh, yeah. ever seen in a theater. Special effects were top notch. I mean, is the story great? No. You know, but it's Mark Wahlberg running around with his woody one liners, explosions, awesome special effects. If you have the right expectations for a movie like this. I think you'll have a good time. Yeah. And I absolutely loved it. Can't wait to check it out on 4K. And the Steelbook is beautiful. It really is. It really is. And <laughs> next up is a film I was on the fence of picking up. And then as soon as you saw it in Target, you're like, I have to have it. I know. I mean... Because we're weak. We're weak. And that is the Mummy Target exclusive Steelbook. Now, we didn't do an unboxing of this. Usually we do an unboxing of all, of all the steelbooks we pick up, but we walked into Target like three days after this movie was released and we still seen a pile of steelbooks oh, there. Yeah. So it's like, do I need it? Do I really? It, I heard it was terrible, but I do like Russell Crowe and Tom Cruise has his good moments. So, yeah. so you know what? I picked it up. I like the steelbook. I'm interested into checking it out. And yeah, I mean, I'm sure it's one of those that's not as bad as people say. Next up was a movie that me and you both love. Absolutely love. And that is It Comes at Night starring Joel Edgerton. Now, I will say, you know, this movie from the trailers, it wasn't what people were expecting when they saw it. It was misleading. It was a little misleading, the trailer, and it pissed a lot of people off, and I could understand it, but at the same time, I loved this loved movie. Loved it. I loved the tone. I loved almost everything about it. Love the ending too. <laughs> you know, not a very fast paced movie, but for me it was very intense and just gripping on the edge of your seat. Yeah. And you know, it was, it was a, a very good take on a certain genre of film. Don't even want to say it if you guys haven't seen it, but really, really like this one. Another one that we picked up from FYE is a classic and that is Robert Rodriguez from Dusk Till Dawn. I haven't seen this in a really long time, but excited to revisit it on Blu-ray. I know it was one of Quentin Tarantino's like first screenplays or early screenplays. Very so, early. you know, you can't go wrong with Tarantino. Definitely not. Another one that we picked up from the Dollar Tree sale is Shark Night. I love shark movies no matter what. Definitely. I mean, always good for, always down for a good shark movie, you know? Yes. And I I actually heard that this was, you know, a good time. Probably not the best, but. Uh, and another one I know there's a slipcover for. Definitely is a slipcover for. Let us know. Another Dollar Tree buy was another Nicholas Sparks movie, and that is The Longest Ride, which. <laughs> I'll give you The Longest Ride, all right. <laughs> I already had a slip cover for, so I was able to just slap we, that puppy right on we, there. Right there, we pre-prepared for the longest ride, so look at that. I think I was always waiting for it to just drop You were price. always waiting for the longest ride. 
<laughs> and one dollar for the longest ride. Yeah, yeah. It's a good price. You get it free every every night. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we got um, the Sixth Sense, a movie that is a classic. And if you haven't seen it within the first couple of years of this one being released. It's one of those movies that was spoiled in like pop culture forever. Right? And it like, was very controversial, that whole thing that it was spoiled and everybody, I mean, I was young when that movie first came out. But so. like, I know just throughout movies and pop culture, they'll always refer to like all oh, the Sixth Sense. Oh, like everyone knows, but you know, got Haley Joe, a young Haley Joe Osment. Which he, he looks, you know, he gained a few he gained LBs, a few pounds. And, but uh, <laughs> so have we all, right? I mean, come on. <laughs> And, you know, Bruce Willis, I mean, back when he kind of cared about his movies. So that's always cool. <laughs> Next up is another Vestron that, you know, we've mentioned we're slowly building towards. And that is The Unholy. Now, I gotta say, out of all the Vestron slips, this might be my favorite. Really? I, I, I love it. I absolutely love, love it. it. The Unholy, you haven't got a prayer. Look at that. It's so sick. It is. This one is number 10. Number so 10. So we are almost caught so, up. So, you know what? We're, we're building up. Yes. And, all right, I'll go one more. Okay. We got While We're Young, starring Ben Stiller. And this is actually an A24 release. Found it sealed slash used for $3. For 3 bucks. And a reason I was intrigued by this is because Noah Baumbach, who is the director of this film, has another film coming out on Netflix in a oh, yes. month or so, or in a couple of weeks, I'm not sure. But it's starring Ben Stiller, Sandler, Dustin Hoffman. And I'm sure this is like a quirky comedy, much like that movie is probably going to be. But, you know, I'm going to watch this movie because I'm not familiar with the director. So I kind of want to get a... Yeah, definitely. Get, get a take on what I'm in for with his new one coming out, which I'm psyched for because I love Sandler and I love Stiller. Okay, another FYE pickup, which I found like walking to the register. And that is The Crazies with the slip. I actually own this movie, but because I could never find the slip cover, when I found it, I had to buy it. I had to jump on it. I had to one. jump on it. The slip cover is awesome. I love this movie. I think this is a really, really underrated horror movie. Next is a kind of a bunch of them, and that is because Best Buy always does every year a sale with TV shows, so you buy X amount and you get a gift card. Well, because they dropped in price, I had to pick up all of the previous American Horror Story seasons because I didn't own any of them and the new one actually comes out this week okay so I will be caught up but guys again 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 I feel like this is a I feel like we're just, <laughs> we're just begging at this for, point begging for slip covers but if any of you guys have extra slip covers for American Horror Story seasons please let us know Yes, I we'll will be work glad to. Yeah, I will be glad to purchase them. But I need the slip covers. These slip covers are awesome. Oh yeah. And I love these. I love the TV show. I know it's not so much horror, but I have a good time with them. Next up is a nice stack of goodies that was sent to us by Mill Creek yes. to show off in our video. And this is the Night of the Living Dead, directed by you know the late great George A. Romero. Yes, this is the original one. The black original and white. cut, black and white. Cannot. This is one we will watch in the middle of October. Yes, I can't wait. Cannot wait. And we also got Friday Night Lights, the complete series on Blu-ray. This is a beautiful set. And those of you who have been following the channel for a little bit know that I'm a huge fan of box sets that have the individual cases for each season or for each movie, whatever yes. the box set may be. But I'm a big fan of that, and this one, you know, does it. Yeah, season one, you know, all the seasons are in there. And this is, you know, a show that I remember watching on and off growing up, like mm -hmm. an episode here or there. Never really got fully into it. I think we're going to binge this, though, this winter. Definitely. Because... And there's a lot of future stars in this one. Oh, yeah. I think you got, what do you got? I think Taylor Kitsch is in this, and... Michael B. Jordan, who's huge now. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of up and comers in this show, and, you know, we'll be interested to checking it out. And thank you to Mill Creek for sending this to us. We really do appreciate it. Next up is The Devil's Candy. I know Wet Movie One actually met Ethan Ambry, who also known from. 
Vegas Vacation, the great Vegas Vacation. But I know Wet Movie 1 actually went to a screening of this and met him, which is super awesome. And have heard nothing but great reviews about this one. Yeah, it had a lot of hype and we just, I, we had to order it. And we did the reverse artwork on it because it's way cooler. And we didn't get a slipcover with this one, Stream Factory, what's going on? But all right, we got the reversible art. I guess it's better than nothing, but... We need that slip. We did pick up the Mila Kunis classic, <laughs> <laughs> American Psycho 2. I have not seen this. I have not heard great things about before, it. Yeah, before you say anything, we know it's bad. We've heard not. We haven't heard anything good. <laughs> but I want to see it. I definitely yeah. want to watch it. I love Mila Kunis. Yeah, she's always a good time. Right? I mean, I love American Psycho. That's definitely one of my favorite movies, and <laughs> it'll probably make me make me want to return the videotape. <laughs> Yes, it'll probably this one will probably make me appreciate American Psycho even more than and I already Christian do. Bale. And Christian Bale. Christian Bale. Yes. Uh, the next group of movies um, was sent to us by Horror Pack, which we did do an unboxing of. But just to run down real quick, we got Zombie Night. Then we have the Horror Pack exclusive Strange Events. We have Hatchet Three with Daniel Harris and Kane Hodder. And Species, which we are giving away. Yes, go check out our Horror Pack unboxing video for the details on how to win Species. And we're also giving away an It poster. So yes. definitely check that one out. And the other movie besides My Life as a Zucchini for the buy one get one free, I picked up one that's similar. Right. And that is the Ouija two pack that has Ouija and uh, Origin of Evil. I didn't enjoy the first one too much but i heard that the sequel it's is a vast like, improvement it's like a complete 180 yeah to the first one so excited to watch it you cannot go wrong with a nice little two-pack though and it was free it was free with the zucchini movie so <laughs> what are you gonna do great stuff all right next up we got public enemies this was another FYE pickup. Had to pick it up because it had that pretty awesome slipcover. And, you know, we do enjoy this movie. I haven't seen it in a few years, but I remember being, it was like okay for a Michael Mann crime film, you know? I thought, you know, for the cast, for Christian Bale and Johnny Depp, it could have been a little better. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, I gotta rewatch it. I mean, I remember liking it, but not loving it. And, you know, I say this all the time, but I'm always excited when we actually get to see Johnny Depp look like a normal human being <laughs> you know not like a pirate or like mordecai or whatever the hell that one was but uh yeah i, I like when he's recognizable you know because he is a great actor i'm not gonna knock him yeah public like enemies was a good one. flick i'm gonna rewatch it soon i really liked it next up we got two watchmen films we got watchmen the complete motion comic now we're me and her love Watchmen. Love Watchmen. And I think it's vastly underrated, you know. Okay. Everyone talks about Deadpool for like, oh rated R comic book, finally rated R comic book film. This was a rated R comic book film that people totally forgot about and You get to see blue pee pee. You get to see a little a blue blue guy. <laughs> And, you know, we haven't seen this one anywhere, but the motion comic, 12 episodes, definitely hyped up for this one. Yes. And once we saw this beautiful slipcover for the price, we couldn't pick it up because we did not own this, and that is Watchmen with that awesome lenticular slipcover. That slip is absolutely beautiful. And we already own about two or three other versions of, of this movie. We have a beautiful DVD box set that I refuse to get rid of because DVD box sets sometimes are way better than any Blu-ray release that you get. Uh, so we have that one and we have the Steelbook and now we have the Lenticular. And I don't mind. I had read the comic book and that was one of the first comic books that I read that really got me into comics. And after seeing the movie, I was like, this is almost perfect. And next up, we got a total slipcover buy because I already own all the seasons on Blu-ray, but that is Sons of Anarchy Season 2. Yes. Absolutely love this show. One of my favorites of all time. You know, Jax Teller, Opie, you know, Ron Perlman's awesome in this. Gemma, Gemma. Oh, Gemma. Everyone hates Gemma, right? God. <laughs> but yeah, this slipcover is really awesome. I know all the seasons didn't come with them, but I, I saw this one. Why. It's for super cheap, and it was actually brand new, still sealed, and I had to pick this one up. SOA, gotta love it, I missed that show. We have The Losers. Yes, The Losers. It's not a movie about me, you know, it could be. 
But, it's uh, his biography. Pretty much. <laughs> but don't know much about this one. This was a total blind buy, but it was another one with the buy two, get one for a dollar. You know, FYE's U selection sometimes is fantastic. Yes. And I don't know anything about this. I know Zoe Zaldana's in it, um, uh, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, and who Chris else? Evans. Chris Evans. And wow, it's actually a good cast in this. It is. Idris Elba. Wow, good, great. I don't know how this one got by me, but... It might be one of those that like has a really great, strong like cast, but awful storytelling. Yeah, I don't know. Let me know down below. Is Losers any good? Because, I mean, it has a great cast. Just haven't seen it. Uh, the last of the Blu-rays that we have to show, we did do unboxings of all of these. Oh, yeah. But because I am weak for not only steelbooks, I am weak for horror steelbooks. And then the icing on the cake was that the artwork was done by my favorite comic book artist, Alex Ross, and that is all of the Universal Monsters steelbooks. And each individual one has beautiful artwork. So we have Dracula, Frankenstein, Bride of Frankenstein, The Invisible Man, Creature from the Black Lagoon, well, I don't want to fall, The Wolfman, and The Mummy. And not only is the artwork absolutely stunning, but each individual one has a clear slip cover over the top of it with the title of the movie on it. These are probably some of my favorite steel books that are in the collection right now. Honestly, they're beautiful because, you know, we're big fans of Mondo and Mondo steel books, which Corey from Corey Reviews was super awesome to hook us up with a bunch of those. But these are very reminiscent of those Mondo steel books with the clear slip cover that goes over them, right? Yes, and I mean, these are absolute classics. I know a lot of people are like, oh, they're boring, this and that, but I love them. I love the black and white of them. I love how simple they are and the yeah. storytelling is 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 great i mean so. are they probably the greatest probably not but you got to appreciate it for the fact of this was the beginning man this is this mm -hmm. was the the start of it all all right so that is our blu-ray haul for the month but we also have a new addiction that we're slowly sprinkling into this channel and go ahead let's show them so, if you remember from our Jay and Silent Bob haul, I did pick up a vinyl to kickstart the vinyl collection that I have been wanting to start for a very long time. But today we went to a record store and I did pick up two vinyls and we picked up a brand new Your Favorite Weapon 10 year anniversary edition. I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on the channel but brand new is my favorite band, absolute favorite. And this is their first full length uh, album it is one of their one of the best so I'm really excited to actually have the vinyl copy of this and then the next one if you guys remember me saying my favorite movie is Fight Club I had to pick up as soon as I saw this the Fight Club soundtrack and this is a Mondo vinyl and I heard that when you unwrap this you actually have to destroy the packaging inside <laughs> to get to the actual vinyl so I'm really excited to open this up, you know, and listen to it. Yeah, maybe we'll do an unboxing of it. Who knows? Maybe. All right, so. So just to recap, we're sick in the head. <laughs> but we're, we're psychos. Just remember, you know, when we die, our coffins are going to have tons of steel books. <laughs> They're going to be so They're heavy. Gonna be so It's going to be just steel-coated body. All right, so if you have stuck around. <laughs> yes, th just thank you guys for checking out this month's Blu-ray haul. Who knows what next month has in store for us. October is usually a very dangerous month. Yes, but we are going to try for the month of October. We have a few awesome videos planned. We're going to do all of our horror Funko Pops, so that's going to be a fun video to do. Yes. We're going to do some horror reviews. Uh, we also are going to have a collab with Drum Dums. Yes. That is going to be sometime in like the third week of October. For um, 31 Days of Horror, so excited for that one. And, I mean, we're just going to keep on keeping on. We're just going to keep on keeping on. <laughs> Thanks as always for the support and guys don't forget to check out our horror pack unboxing for that species giveaway with a couple of it posters and let us know in the comments below what your favorite pickup that we got or, or pick ups pick ups and what did you guys pick up this month we'd love to hear it <laughs> and as always give this video a big thumbs up 
like comment and subscribe and we'll see you guys in our next video and go yankees baby <laughs> go yankees